Hello guys, in this video we are going to make the transitions between animations, so let's get started. We need the parameters to make the switch between animations, so let's create the first parameter type float and name it like a speed. The first transition that we are going to make is with player run, so right click on player idle, make transition and click on player run. I'm going to do some adjustments here to see better the transitions and I'm going to do this for all the transitions. Now select the transition and check has exit time. Put zero in transition duration because we don't need a smooth effect. And here we are going to add all condition to make work the transition to animation player run. For now we only have the speed parameter and we will let it like a greater. And let's make the return transition. Right click on player run, make transition and select player idle. Here we are going to make the same adjustments. Add our condition, same parameter speed, but now select less in the combo and put 0.001 because it is a float parameter and when it is going to be less, the player is going to return to the animation idle. We can test this here. Let's move the game window next to the animator window and play. Now, let's set the parameter speed more than zero and that's it. As we can see, our player is running. If we set zero again, our player return to idle animation. So, let's make the next transition. Now, select player idle, make transition and select player crouch. Add a bull parameter and rename it to its crouching. We will do the same adjustments. Add the condition, but now select the parameter is crouching and let it in true. Now create the return transition, right click on player crouch, make transition and click on player idle. Do the adjustments, add the condition with the parameter is crouching, but now select false and test the crouch transitions. Now the next transition will be player jump, right click on any state, make transition and click on player jump, create a bull parameter and name it to its jumping. Afterward select the transition, do the adjustments, add the condition, select its jumping and let it in true. Make the return transition, but now it is going to be from player jump to player idle. Select the transition, do the adjustments, add the condition, select its jumping, change it to false and test. We made this transition in any state because you can jump in any action. Before to continue, I'm going to delete this condition with parameter speed in the return crouch transition. We don't need it. Now we have to do one more thing here. We are going to create another animation named slide. So move the animation window next to the project window. Select the factor player and in the animation window click on create new clip. This animation is simple. Select this sprite that this looks like it is sliding and drag and drop in the animation window. 
don't forget to reduce the samples. And just play it if you want to see how it looks. Afterward, let's create the transitions. Select the tab animator, just move a little the player slide. We are going to create another boot parameter and name it the sliding. Make the transition, player idle to player slide, do the adjustment, add the condition, select its sliding and make to return transition as ever. And test it just to see if everything is ok. And that's all, now we have our animations and transitions. The next video we will make the code to move our player and change these animations depending on the action, but one by one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.